What is up my friends, welcome back to your average gentleman, it is your boy Evan I did a video on how to cuff your pants like a pro about 3 years ago Which turned out to be my most watched video In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an updated video On not just 2, but 5 different ways to cuff your pants like a boss Make sure to stick all the way till the end Because I will be recommending my favourite ways to cuff my pants nowadays And without further ado, let's begin First up, we have what I call the high cuff. Basically, you just cuff it up once. It is the easiest to do. It definitely looks bolder and more rugged. I would only do it when I'm wearing boots. The high cuff is also good for joggers too. It is like a pro tip, right? When you can just roll up the whole elastic band to make the jogger fit better. And nobody will even notice it. Okay, now on to the second way to cuff your pants. I call it the double over cuff. Basically, you fold it up once with a high cuff and you fold it up another time over the first cuff. It is for when you want to show some details of the rim of the leg openings. It is also the easiest to undo because you just have to pull the top and the whole cuff will be undone. It is the best for wearing it with boots as well because it also looks rougher and more chunky. Okay, moving on to the third cuff. I call it the regular cuff. Basically, you roll up your pants once and then you just roll it up a second time. If you are not satisfied with the length, you can roll it up the third time. I wouldn't go more than three times because then it will start to look super thick and bulky. What I like to do if the pants is still too long after two times is to adjust the width of the cuff and make it wider. This cuff is best suited for just a casual outfit, like with some simple sneakers. Moving on to the fourth cuff, I call this the hidden cuff. This is for the dressy occasions. And for those occasions whereby your pants are too long but you don't want to look like you cuffed your pants. And how we fold it is very simple, right? You just kind of grab all those excess fabrics and tuck it inside of the jeans. Then leaving a bit of the bottom part, you expose the ending of the jeans a little bit to make the bottom part of the jeans a bit more natural. It is not very noticeable unless someone comes really up close. Of course, if you don't want to cuff your pants, and you want the bottom of your pants to be just the right length, the best is of course to get it hemmed. And if you want to learn how to do that, I did a tutorial video on how to hem your pants without using a sewing machine. Link below if you want to check it out. Okay, last but not least, let's get into the pin roll. This is the cuff if you want to give the bottom of your pants a tapered look. This is probably the trickiest cuff to do, so you gotta be a little bit patient. The first step is to grab the excess fabric on the side of the pant and fold it backwards. Then while holding the excess fabric in place, you roll up your pants once first. And then finally, you roll it up a second time while still holding onto the excess fabric in place. I like to fold the inner ankle area and fold it backwards because from the sides and from the in front, people won't be able to tell that I folded the excess fabric. Let me show you again with the other foot. So we grab the excess fabric, fold it backwards, cuff it up once, and cuff it up a second time. Now, many people has been asking me why it keeps coming undone. For pin roll, you need to trial and error, right? And find the sweet spot where it is not too tight or not too loose. So if it keeps coming off, you have to either cuff it tighter or cuff it a little bit looser and see which tightness works. Ideally, it should be a snug fit. Okay, now before I go, which of these five cuffs are my favorite? Drum roll, please. It gotta be the regular cuff. I mean, it is the easiest and quickest to do and it takes the least effort. The pin roll looks nice too, but it's a little bit too try hard for me. But of course, if your pants are too baggy, then pin roll is probably the best way to go. For the regular cuff, it will be the best if the pants legs are already tapered. I did a whole video on how to taper your pants like a pro without using a sewing machine. Link below if you want to check it out. That is it for today's video. Let me know down 
down in the comments below which of these calves are your favorites. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button to let me know you have dope tutorials, man. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Have a great day, y'all, and I'll see every single one of you in my next video. Bam!